what is going on guys and welcome to tool talk my name is sam and what you're seeing right here is the uh the present and the past and uh i'm going to show you the changes lots and lots of changes going from this which is probably the 90s uh to now when it comes to camera crawlers um <clears throat> This one sadly is in mine. I rent this equipment from Jetvac. Uh, Jetvac equipment. Uh, my, my friend uh, Jeff. Uh, shout out to you, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, I yet don't have the business uh, to own one of these. One of these can easily go for $100,000, $125,000. Uh, and, and I currently don't have that business. I, uh, so that's why, you know, just renting it makes more sense to me. Uh, I am looking forward to getting in there and, and you know stick my neck out there uh, that's definitely coming that's one of my uh, one of the things I want to do but for now I'm pretty much inspecting uh, I don't know probably about 25 inspections uh, uh, a year uh, so just going pick up this equipment renting it uh, for the week or for the day uh, makes a lot of sense to me and I like it because uh, things has just has just gotten so much better when it comes to these things versus this this I own doesn't really work anymore it's just here to show you how how different how, how much everything has changed uh, this is a, an EnviroSight unit and it's in the uh, the, the, the portable uh, box which contains everything from a generator to a washdown uh, hose uh, gun uh, I'll show you all of that in a minute so but you know I, I had about a hundred to 200 feet of line to inspect and I rented this and uh, and I had it since Thursday and it's now Saturday and it's sitting here in my shop so I said hey why not do a tool talk video about it you know show you what I think and how it works and how to put it together and get it running uh, and yeah that's what we're here to do so as you can see right here <laughs> and the size different look at this behemoth right here so now let me get some gloves guys oh. all right so first of all work in this unit right here uh, <laughs> this was unbelievable to operate it was like first of all the, the the wheels are not independent they all just just go up up uh, forward and back that's it well this one has independent uh uh wheels uh that can turn right and this one doesn't um this thing weighs a lot probably 60 pounds of so getting these things up and down the main hole was a it, you almost needed to use a, a tripod to do that while well, this I'll say about this is about probably 40 pounds give or take you know and uh, look at this for example to change the wheels on this one you have to put the right color nuts you have one two three four that you had to take out to swap the wheels on this one when this one you just push a button and here you go you have another wheel I put a bigger wheel on. That's it. I love the simplicity of this. Very, very cool. Very, very simple. So that's one other thing. The second thing is this one has an elevator integrated that you can control from the from the head unit. This one. Oh my god! This one here. <laughs> It had an elevator, but you had to actually adjust it. You have to take this head unit out and put the uh, elevator on and then bolt it in. So imagine you are, uh, imagine you are a thousand feet down the line inspecting and, 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 and you need to elevate the camera for whatever reason. Imagine you're having to bring the camera back a thousand feet, put the elevator and go give it another shot. Imagine if it's too high or too low, you have to bring it back again. So that was a big problem with these things. So with this push of a button, it goes up, it goes down from the head unit. So that's, that, that's another thing, you know. You shouldn't really even, even be in compare. 
uh, these two but just for the heck of it I just uh, just put it on the table so so you can kind of see how these camera crawlers have evolved so all right let's get this guy out of here okay let's put you here and you back there thank you for your service but it's still pretty cool looking all right so what I'll do now is I'll put that GoPro on my head and I'm gonna show you how to connect everything and put it together okay so here's a little unit from uh, you know uh, first person view I guess you will call it so all right so everything is very very simple the one thing that they recommend is not to turn anything on until everything is connected so let me get a head, head unit that's right here it's pretty bright you can see it um, you can see it while you are outside and basically every connection has a dedicated you, you can connect you can't mess it up every plug has a color and a size and it will only go in one way so there's no worry about that when I had that unit it was so difficult because you had to you had a volt control so basically if you needed more power you had to dim the lights so you can have more volts so the tires can have more power to go over stuff it was just a complete nightmare so here you don't have to deal with any of that so I'll show you real quick the whole unit this is a f-150 with a short bed and it fits there perfectly right the only issue well it's not an issue but for me I, I you don't really need to put it in a, on a pallet but I like to put it on a pallet because my forklift doesn't extend wide enough uh, to go into those into those things and I have a standard forklift uh, which is back there I will call that the standard forklift you you've seen that before uh, uh, in other places so uh, the the other reason I like to put it on a pallet is that because when it's not on the pallet I cannot get this door open this door will hit this probably because because of this trap here that that's doing the cover now here you can open it nicely and freely and you can get your generator out oh, there's stuff on the other side so again you have your extension cord plug it in turn the generator on and there you go you're good to go you got the straps here so you won't go anywhere and you have these two in the back like that so it, it's it's quite heavy the truck feels it you know I can you can feel it when you when you drive it um, let me show you on this side So here's your washdown, tiger tail, and your manhole uh, guide. And here you got the power breakers, lights. This is uh, one of them is for the pump, I know. And then you can wash it. Uh, I never used it really. I always hot water available uh, on the places I go to. And here's where you fill it. And then at the bottom of the machine, there is a drain, I guess an overfill. So if you forget or something, it will just drain out the bottom. This thing. And there you have it, guys. You see, look at that. If you're a drain cleaner and uh, you stay in business long enough and your business does well, these are the toys you get to play with. Because, uh, you know, uh, if you don't get distracted by the, the shinier stuff out there and you stay drain cleaning and just increase the the the, the level of, of 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 service and the and work on clean bigger pipes this is these are the the toys you're going to need like this <laughs> this is a, a cutter right here um you know uh, uh, you can use this to cut anything I, i'm going to do another video of that but um, let's say for example there is a, a root because there was in, in Montclair I was there one day and there was a root the size of 
bigger than my leg and, and I, we, no, nothing could cut it. So uh, this is what you're gonna need. You have basically nozzles that shoot it. They'll make this pin and cut anything that's in there. It could be an animal, uh, I don't know, a, a dead animal inside, roots. Uh, if, uh, if a liner guy that doesn't know how to line pipes overshoots the pipe. You can send this baby here and that will clear the way. This will cut anything, anything in the line. Hooked up to the vector. Uh, I mean, you just gotta hope that there's no elbows or turns or anything like that, because this will just go straight on skits. And uh, believe it or not, sometimes, uh, sometimes there are animals in there that are stuck and you can't get them out, so you have to chop them up. And you know, you got all those guts coming back to you and everything, you gotta suck it up. And then you gotta get a, a water treatment plant inspector to come and see the job that way when you bring blood to the water treatment facility they uh they they request you to bring an inspector to the job because uh, you know obviously they take samples of your of your load so i'm going to try to get you a video using this this is pretty cool to see in action so just put it over here it weights a ton Alright, where were we? Alright, let's 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 connect it and put it together. Now I'm not gonna turn on the generator. Uh, it, it obviously there's really nothing to see here, uh, nothing to nothing good about that, so just gonna use this power. Oh, power I have it on here. Just gotta make sure everything is off. That's off. That's not even connected, so just gonna give it some juice right here. Nice LED lighting up there, and I believe a TV was supposed to go on that on that thing there. So I guess if you buy a new, you, uh, you put a TV there. I don't know. I, I don't really see why you would need that, but it's there. So let's go now from the unit. It looks pretty strong. Red dot right there to the red dot. And then this will go here. Red dot. Yeah, red dot. So you, you really, you, you can't screw that up. All right, so now we got the head unit connected. Now we're gonna connect the, uh, the crawler. Obviously this is one plug, it only goes one way. And I like the fact that a lot of people, if you, if you, if you feel like you're gonna over tighten, you don't you don't have to be uh afraid of over tightening these things because i don't know if you can see there there's like a little like a little pocket where this spring loaded thing will go in when it's just tight enough you hear it click oh i don't know why you didn't click but but the same issue over here to remove the camera head you just got to bring this up twist it and then the camera head will pull out just like that put it in just get it in deep, deep enough and then just twist the okay twist this and this will latch i don't know that don't look that don't look right yeah it is right right so there you go you have to you don't have to worry about over tighten this and that's it guys that that's all you have to do I wish I had a video when I was working. I think I do. I gotta look at. I gotta look that up. All right. So basically, what you do now is power your reel. That's good. And you power the unit. And there you have it. This is important. All right, well, these loads, let's see if I can get it out here. I don't think anybody has done this.
This is all our emergency emergency switches, I guess, if you have to turn them off. All right, so now we are live. All right, just stay there, please. All right, so let me give you a good angle here. Hey, Dotra was the last one using this machine. Look at that. Okay. All right, so look at this. Everything, all the menu is available and everything is kind of pretty clear. I hope you can see it right. Okay, but basically you have here, let's say for example, a uh, crawler pop-up menu. You can do uh, basically your cruise speed and everything else. This is your elevator up and down. This is pretty cool. So what do you have there? That's about a foot. That is a foot. And then, you know, you can put bigger tires in if you, if you need to be higher. That's also good. You can control your camera head here with this joystick up and down. And to return home, just press down and then it will return home. This one will control the, uh, the, the crawler itself. Back, turn right, turn left. And basically everything else, most, it is all pretty straightforward. What you kind of will struggle with a little bit, it's creating work and report. Um, that's what I struggle with and saving it into a USB. That, that will take you about 20 minutes to, to, to kind of get right. Uh, and they make all kinds of attachments for this. They can put lasers on it. They can put, I bet they can put a BB gun on it if you want to hunt in the sewers, rats or something, they could do it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and uh, it tells you everything you need to know inside the pipe. What else can we show you here? Let me see. <laughs> Switch the camera. All right, so you have a camera also at the rear, right here. If you're backing out of the pipe, uh, you can kind of see uh, uh, what's going on. <clears throat> And then basically you can play with the zoom and, 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 and the, the digital zoom and the regular zoom. That's all things you can play with. Um, the camera switch. So you got the rear camera and the front camera. If you want to do two cameras, I don't think I can think you can only do one at a time. All right. So that's the rear camera, obviously. And it has its own light. If you're backing out or you don't know if you're stuck or something, you can take a look at the back. It's your front camera and it's got the LEDs. Now, let me see how do you control. Here's your zone locator. You can turn that on and go and locate the pipe. Uh, if, if you see a breakage or anything like that, you can go ahead and look at it with different frequencies. <clears throat> Photo measurements, uh, zoom pop up. Let's see how, how well the zoom is. Oh, this is camera zoom. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. All right, and then LED lights and 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 pretty much. I um, just want to let you know that the, the what cost what will take you more to learn is uh, basically the uh, the, uh, the 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 reports, re generating reports and measurements and things like that. So, but pretty straightforward, very simple to use. It, they trained me in like. In like 15 minutes, I already knew how to use this thing uh, with no problem. So good for Enviroside to make things simple uh, uh, versus what how things were before. Uh, and uh, there you have it. That's uh, I think it's a great unit. I am looking forward to uh, get more business about piping, inspecting, and and and, and pipe profiling. Profiling and. Uh, it's a, it's a really good little unit, so definitely something uh, to consider buying in the future.